Can I help you? Do you need to go back and sit? Go. Come on. Mommy has to film. Yeah. That's okay. Do you want to say hi to the people? You are not a puppy anymore. Say hi to the people. Say hi, friends. Ah, hi, guys. Okay. That's enough, buddy. Okay, pumpkin. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Ashes. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being with me here today for this video. And let me tell you something. If you like Mulan, if you like Disney, if you like princesses, or if you just like badass strong bitches or if you are one then give this video a like right now just stop what you're doing hit the thumbs up like this video because today we are reviewing i say we like i have multiple personalities maybe i do but i am reviewing the colourpop mulan collection i literally ordered this in march when it launched and i have been waiting patiently for this to ship and it finally got here like a couple weeks ago and i have been holding on to it because i'll be honest i really didn't think that i would film this video because so much time has passed and i feel like the hype over this collection is just really gone but when i shared the unboxing on my instagram a lot of you guys were so excited and were like you can't wait to see swatches and the reviews just everything in case that it restocks so i was just like okay well i guess people are still interested in seeing this but literally when i opened this pr box and showed everyone what it looked like that's when people lost their shit and i could totally understand why because i literally almost cried the first time i opened this box i tried my best to not open it and like save it for camera and like do a full first impression but like i said i wasn't sure i was gonna film it because so much time has passed but literally when i opened this box it was just like a huge wave of emotions and i just felt like it's so special and i wanted to share it with my youtube family and hence the reason for filming this video but we do have a cute little range of products in here i'm trying not to throw it down because it is huge so we have some lipsticks, eyeshadows, blushes, just a nice little range of products to try. Now, I will admit, I was extremely late to the Mulan game. Like, it was up until late last year. I was hanging out with my friends and they were like so surprised to know that I have never seen the Mulan movie. I know, I've never seen that Disney movie. I don't know why, but it was just literally one of those movies I just kept delaying like, oh yeah, I'll get it. I'll watch it and this is like no shade to Mulan or anything or anyone I just had it on the back burner for such a long time and when my friends threatened to disown me I was just like okay this shit serious I need to watch this movie and it was not until probably very late last year I think it was actually early this year so 2020 I watched the Mulan movie and I was just so mind blown of how great of a movie this was like i was so touched by it and it just made me feel more empowered and then like a few months after colourpop came out with this collection in march and i was just like i literally sent trend moods photos of this collection to all of my friends and they were like oh my god bitch you need to get this like it is a must they lost their mind they went crazy over this collection and a lot of you know i stand colourpop like i love colourpop so much like their accessibility and affordability is one thing but they do have really great products for the prices i mean is it high end no but a lot of their things perform just as good and i really enjoy them so it was like a done deal for me i love mulan i love disney i love colourpop it's like a collab in heaven and as you can see i do have a lot of colourpop pr disney collections i have the princess one there now this i do have some of the villain collection so you know i have a cute little collection of my colourpop pr boxes and all of that and i just am so glad to add this to it as well because ugh, 
it's so pretty so if you are interested in seeing what this entire PR box has and all of the components in it and all of that good stuff then stay tuned This is what the PR box looks like and you can see Colourpop did it again with their packaging. When you spin around the box, it's wrapped with these red flowers. It's so pretty when the light hits it. This packaging is truly incredible. At the front, you have this double door to open. And when you open it up, this is what the entire PR box contains and it retails for 99 US dollars. You get the eyeshadow palette, a fan, a lip mask, and jasmine face milk. On the right side, you get the three lipstick formulas in this collection. And on the other side, you do get two blushes. The details on these packaging are amazing. First up, you have a fan. I think this is a really cool touch to the collection. And when you open it up, it says Mulan and Colourpop on each side. It's really detailed and so gorgeous I can't wait to put this on display the eyeshadow unit carton is almost as beautiful as the PR box itself and at the back of the carton you have the shade names as well as the ingredients list the actual eyeshadow palette looks like this it looks very much like the unit carton it came in same thing at the back, you have the shade names and the ingredients list. When you open up the eyeshadow palette, there's this plastic covering to protect the eyeshadows. And on the top of the eyeshadow palette, there's some Mulan artwork with the words loyal, brave and true written in Chinese. The actual colors of the eyeshadow, you get a nice mix of some warm, some neutrals and a variety of matte, shimmer, and glittery shades. These are what the swatches look like on my arm. You can see, again, you have those beautiful warm shades as well as some neutral shades in there. But the shimmers in this eyeshadow palette is truly magical. This is the Jasmine Face Milk from their sister brand, Fort Ray Beauty. It has a little dropper to dispense the product. The Jasmine Face Milk does come in a bundle with the lip mask also from Fortry Beauty. And the cap on this lip mask is what makes this so spectacular. Like, it's so adorable. I can't explain how cute this is. You have to see it in person. It is just so pretty. When you open up the lip mask, it comes with a protective cover as well and it's a really thick lip mask like you can see in there how goopy it looks it does appear to have some shimmer in it as well the collection also comes with two blushes and they both retail for $12 each you can see they are very cool toned one is warmer than the other one just a little bit more but these both contain shimmer in them these are what they look like swatched on my arms. As you can see, they're very light blushes. One even blends into my skin. The first shade is called Matchmaker, which is the light cool tone color. And the warmer shade is called Good Luck Charm. There are also three lip formulas in this collection and they retail for $9 each. First up, you have the Luxe lipstick secondly you have the Lux liquid lipstick the packaging on this one has to be my favorite and last but not least you get a Lux gloss 
first up is the Lux liquid lipstick and I can't stress enough how detailed this packaging is even on the bullet of this lipstick like look how sickening that is there's even details on the inside of the bullet that is to show you how detailed Colourpop went with this collection and this color is so 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 stunning I think this would look really nice on my skin tone it's like a pinky nude brown I really don't know how to describe this color but it's extremely pretty and the formula is pigmented next up is the Luxe liquid lipstick this is what the actual component looks like it's really pretty this red and gold amazing the doe foot on this is kind of skinny but the color is a true deep blood red it's extremely nice last but not least is the lip gloss and this packaging is the most simple i've seen so far but the actual component is so pretty this red and gold moment really pretty the doe foot applicator on this gloss is extremely thick as well as the formula it's this pretty sheeny type of clear gloss with gold shimmer And these are what all three lipsticks look like swatched on my arm. So now that you have seen the stunning close-ups of this collection, as well as the swatches, it's time to put it on my face because child honey, I am looking bare. So the first thing I want to try is the jasmine milk. So this is the jasmine face milk. This is from Fort Ray Beauty, which is Colourpop skincare brand. And I really enjoy these face milks. Like my favorite one is their turmeric. But oh my gosh, this has a really mild jasmine fragrance, which I like because to me, jasmine, if you have too much of it, it can make me feel a little bit upset. So I am gonna use like a few drops of this face milk to use as a primer slash moisturizer. And you can see like it leaves me with a nice little glow it's not oily at all so far so good with this face milk my skin feels prepped and ready for foundation but I still want to use a little bit of my Farsali liquid powder serum just on the tip of my nose This is my one holy grail product I cannot live without. It just helps to prevent my makeup from breaking up on my nose and to control those oils. There's also a lip mask in this collection. Like, look how adorable this is. And I just want to put a little bit of this lip mask on to see how it feels. You know, I'll really give it a true test over time, but. Ooh, that is extremely thick. Hmm. So this is a shimmery lip mask. It does feel very nice, feels comfortable and hydrating on my lips. But it's not sticky, which I absolutely love because when I saw how thick this was, I was just like, oh my god, this is gonna be a sticky mess. But it's not. It's really smooth creamy hydrating so i like this a lot so far so to keep this video very mulan focused i am gonna do my base off camera just some foundation concealer and powder and i'll be right back so i am back with my base and i'm thinking that i want to do the eyes first look how pretty this palette is i mean oh, she just looks so powerful here my goodness like whoever did the artwork for this collection really nailed it i have to admit though i wish there was like a matte red in this layout like i feel like that's just the really only thing missing from this palette and i don't know what look i want to do so i'm just gonna wing it 
I'm gonna mix these two shades here. They're called Anna and Strength. And I'm gonna mix those very lightly for a transition shade. Those two shadows blended so well together. It was very fast. They're very creamy. So I really like how these performed. Using a smaller fluffy brush, I'm gonna dip into this darker brown called Guiding Spirit. And I'm gonna pop that directly in my crease. I'm taking my time and slowly building up this color. It is very pigmented. For my outer V area, I'm gonna dip into this shade called True. It's a very dark gray sort of color. This color does have some fallout, so I need to be careful. Whenever you have an eyeshadow with a lot of fallout, instead of swiping back and forth, try to pack it on as much as you could. On my lid, I'm gonna keep it classic Mulan and use these two red shades. Wow. And then on the center of my lids, I'm gonna put this color here. This is like a dual chrome color but it also has some glitter in it. So I'm just gonna put that on the center of my lid. I definitely have a lot of fallout going on, so. So I think this is pretty much it for the eyes. I really love the red shimmer. That is something I really wear. So I'm really enjoying it right now. And I am gonna pop on a lash and I'll be right back. So I am back and I popped on some lashes. This is the Kenzie Beauty Lashes in the style Doll. You'll notice it's like my favorite lash by now. I also finished up my under eyes and I used the same two transition shades that I used earlier to smoke out my waterline. And I also used this matte shade here it's like a light peach for a matte brow highlight i know this is very rare for me but i'm feeling for a very subtle look so i did a matte brow bone and a matte inner corner highlight and i definitely need some color on my cheeks so now it's time for the blushes i don't know which one um i don't know how much these are gonna do for my complexion because they seem pretty light so i guess i'll mix both of them and see what i get so I have my clean blush brush and I'm gonna dip into both of the shades. These are quite powdery, I don't know if you can see the kickback in the pan like all around and I barely pressed into it so you have to be careful. I am quite surprised it's actually showing up. I don't know if it's like my favorite color but it's cute like I really like this. You know, I like my pinks and my plum type of blushes, but oh, this is actually new for me. Like this type of shade where it's kind of almost very light and peel in the pan. But it's really pretty. I think I put a little too much here. But it's really nice. That is really pretty. Okay, I'm surprised with the blushes. So I'm just gonna do the same on my next cheek. Both of these blushes have shimmer, but it's not too crazy. It just kind of disappears when you blend it. So I think that's enough blush. It looks really cute. I do have this slight sheen on my cheeks, nothing crazy at all. So, so far so good. And the final part of this collection are the three lippies. I'm not sure which one... Mm, this could work, but I feel like it's just a little too much. You know, there's red here. I don't want too much red on my face. The 
lip gloss i think i want to do the lipstick topped off with the lip gloss like this color is so nice that is such a pretty lip color um does it go with the eye look i think i could pull it off like i don't even know how to describe it it's pulling kind of rosy but at the same time it's like a kind of pinky nude it's not too nude but it's like i don't know how to describe it but all i know is i really like it and i want to keep it on but i think i want to put just a little bit of the gloss this is the first time I'm trying Colourpop's Lux Lip Gloss Formula. It's extremely thick. That is some high shine. <laughs> like, wow. It's a very thick gloss, so it feels kind of heavy on the lips. But the shine is definitely there. I love it. It looks really good. So this collection did not come with a highlighter and I don't feel like I need it but it's me and I just have to apply highlight. So I want to put a little bit of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. This is in the shade Luminous Light. I'm just gonna put this basically everywhere because it's not like a highlight highlight you know it's just like a slight shimmer to your face to like just bring back everything to life and not have you look so flat and just powdered so you can see the difference like how alive and healthy this side looks and this side is just kind of flat that's what i want to so just create some dimension to my face Absolutely yes, that definitely brought my face to life. I love how that powder looks. Mm. So I need to set my face and I want to try the Tarte Maracuja Mist. This is supposed to give me like a natural dewy satin finish. Oh, I have a fan! Take your time, Gil. Yes, Mulan, come through. So now for my final thoughts on this collection. And let's start with the face milk and the lip mask. I like this. This is not new to me. Um, the fragrance is new but the product itself, face milk, is something I have used before and I really enjoy and my makeup is sitting really well on it so I think it really does double as a moisturizer and primer as it claims. The lip mask is definitely something I will have to try over a long period of time to see what it really does and how my lips react to it but on the initial impression it was definitely very much hydrating and i really liked how my lipsticks applied after so i think this is okay for now the eyeshadow palette i enjoyed a lot i really like the neutral colors in here however because it is mulan i think i would have preferred if there was like a matte red shade in here you know to keep true to the theme of mulan but overall i think this is a really nice palette the only issue that i had was that there was a lot of kickback in the pans but that is something that does not bother me but i still would like to mention it and also even with the shimmer shades i find like there was a lot of fallout so i would suggest really using a glitter glue to hold it in place but overall the palette performed extremely well i like how you can have your everyday tones here with your pops of color it's a really versatile palette the two blushes from this collection also did a really nice job of giving me like a light flush of color it's nothing too crazy so if you're a more natural type of person who doesn't like a lot of blush or if you're now getting into blush i think this would really suit your skin but 
if you are deeper than me i don't see you getting much use out of these blushes and i do wish there was a more pinky kind of reddish type of blush in this collection because when mulan smiles she has like this red cheek so i think that would have been a lot better rather than these two very light tones but they did work out really nice on my skin so i'm not mad at it but i just wish there was a little bit more variety as far as the lip items go in this collection i think my favorite has to be the lipstick this is such a pretty color it's very unusual and unique to my collection but this gloss is the first time i'm trying colourpop's luxe lip gloss formula and i really really like it like it's extremely thick and i was worried about that removing the lipstick but it didn't and it actually has a really high shine to it which i love this Lux liquid lip i have tried this formula before and i was not a fan of it so i'll have to try it and see if it's improved but the color was spot on with this whole theme like it's a true red and i think this would be so good for christmas and i think what has to be the coolest part of this collection for me is the fan like it's such a classic piece it's so exciting to have as a makeup collector and honestly this entire collection is just a makeup collector's dream because of the packaging the theme of it they stayed very true to it and yeah i'm so ecstatic to have it and i can't wait for my friends to come over and play with it i know that sounds so childish but honestly this is such a gorgeous collection like everything about it i am in love with like it is honestly one of the most special pieces that i own and i'm gonna cherish it so much so overall i'm really pleased with this entire collection and that's it for this video i hope you guys liked it and had fun i know i did playing with all of these new collector pieces i'm so excited to have them you have no idea and i'll also keep you all updated as to if colourpop is restocking this collection they haven't said anything yet but i know mid-june they did restock the sailor moon collection so i think this is a possibility that they will restock um, if you follow me on my Instagram, I will keep you guys updated. So thank you again so much for being with me here today. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.